Good day everyone! How are you today? I'm here again, Ma'am Angel, your teacher in Technology and Livelihood Education 7. And I welcome you all to another session of Valenzuela Live! Please get ready. Prepare your notebook, pen, and learning module. And don't forget to type present plus the name of your school in the comment section. We are already in the third quarter of our learning journey in TLE. For this quarter, we are now engaging ourselves in cultivating plants in gardens to produce food and medicinal ingredients or for ornamental purposes. This activity in our horticulture contributes to reducing pollution and temperature here in urban areas. It also provides income and employment for some Filipino families during this pandemic and becomes a worldwide rich recreational activity. So stay with me. Let's enjoy all these rewards in horticulture. Our learning competency for weekly is to use farm tools and equipment. At the end of the, our session, you are expected to complete our learning objectives, which are number one, identify the different use of farm tools. Number two, demonstrate the proper way on how different farm tools are used. And value the importance of knowing the uses of farm tools. Let's now explore the different tools used in horticulture. Let's have a recap of our previous lesson. By this activity called Give Me Your Heart. Give Me Your Heart emoticon even is part of your safety checklist when you're working at the farm or at the garden. And a such emoticon if it is not. For number one, maintain edge tools sharpened. Is it part of your safety checklist or not? I will give you three seconds to comment on your answer. Very good! Thank you for that card. How about this? Number two. Continuous use of tractor without inspection. Oh, it's a sad emoticon that should not be part of your safety checklist. Next, number three. Storing farm tools in a dry, safe place. Excellent. Give me your car. Let's move to the next number. Number four. Read and value the importance of manufacturer's manual. Wow, that's great. Yes, give me your card. And for the last number, wearing any kind of shirt you want. Oh, it's a sad emoticon for this. Now, I'm sure everyone is guided by the safety checklist when working at the park, even when working at the garden or home. Before we continue, please tap your heart icon three times. Tap, tap, tap. Heart, heart, heart. Oh, thank you for that. Let's continue. Horticulture requires different activities like cultivation, cutting of branches and weeds, digging, 
and loosening of soil and a lot more. So we need tools. Five tools are categorized according to their uses. We have cutting tools, digging tools, loosening tools, and combination tools. Cutting tools used in cutting branches and weeds on the farm. Digging tools are tools used in excavating process. Loosening tools are tools used to decompress the top layers of the soil. Combination tools are tools that can perform functions more than one tool. Commonly used cutting tools are bolo, pruning shears, axe, knife, and sickle. Bolo is for cutting tall weeds and grasses and for chopping branches of trees. Pruning shears are for cutting plant materials and unnecessary branches of plants. Next is axe. Axe is used for cutting, cutting of wood and big branches of trees. Another is knife. Knife is a universal tool for cutting. Another here is sickle. Sickle is a handheld tool with variously curved blades typically used for cutting weeds. We have digging tools here. Frequently used digging tools are the crowbar, pick matter, spade, and shovel. Crowbar is also called wrecking bar. It is mainly used for digging holes. It is also used for digging out stones and stacks. And it can also be used as a lever hand grip. Another is the pick matter. It's a hand tool that is used for digging and breaking stones. Next is a spade, which is used for removing soil or trash. It can also be used for digging. Another digging tool is a shovel. Shovel is used to dig, move, or mix the soil. It is also used to quickly remove any trash. Next is loosening tool. Loosening tool is hand shovel. Trowel is used for loosening the soil around plants. Combination tools. Or we also call it multifunction tools. These are spading fork, light hoe, hand fork, hand cultivator, Rake, grab hole, sprinkler, water pails, sprayers, and wheel barrel. Spading fork is used for digging out roots, loosening soil, and turning materials in a compost heap. Next, light hole. 
is used for leveling and loosening to soil. It is also used for digging furrows for planting. Next, hand fork. Hand fork is used for loosening hard soil and lifting. Turning and mixing compost with the soil. They are used for removing weeds and lifting and transplanting plants and seedlings. Hand cultivator. It is used for cultivating garden areas and removing weeds. Break. Break is like a broom, but made with metal. It is a farming tool used for clearing fields and gathering weeds. Grab hole. Grab hole is used for breaking topsoil and pulverizing the soil. Next, sprinkler. It is used to water the plants. Another water pail. Water pail is an open top container used for carrying liquids and granular products. Another we have here sprayer. It is used for spraying liquid. It can be used to spray. Insecticides, herbicides, pesticides, or water on a farm. Wheelbarrow. It is used for moving lightweight items such as fertilizers, manures, plants, seeds, waste materials, and other things around the field. All right, let's have a recap of the different farm tools that you have learned today. For cutting tools, we have bolo, rolling shears, axe, knife, and sickle. For digging tools, these are crowbar, pig mattock, spade, and shovel. For loosening tool, we have hand shovel. And for combination tools, are spading fork, light hole, hand fork, hand cultivator, rake, grab hole, sprinkler, water pails, sprayer, well barrel now tell me what are the farm tools that you have at home type your answer in the comment box i will give you 10 seconds to flex your farm tools come on start flexing Well done, students! It only shows that you are already using those tools at home in planting and cultivating plants with your family. Just keep in mind that we should always use appropriate tool when working at the farm. And using the appropriate tool for a certain task is an attitude and a skill this skill will allow us to complete the task efficiently and also to ensure our productivity now let me show you some interesting stuff and i want you to say something about this for the first image He's trying to break hard topsoil and create canals or furrows. What farm tool does he use? Very good! Pig mattock. And pig mattock is a 
leading to next image in this picture she is enjoying repacking her succulents this time what tool is used exactly hand trowel which is a loosening tool how about for this image this man is trying to move low soil from one place to another what farm tool is he using that's right he is using a shovel and that is a digging tool another we have this girl also trying to break the topsoil what does what tool does she use yes a grab hole which is a combination tool let's have another picture to explore this man is trying to clean the area and level the topsoil he is using what tool very good he is using a rake a combination tool now let's move on let me check if you have understood our topic today let's have another activity multiple choice simply type the letter of your answer in the comment section i will give you five seconds for each question ready let's start what farming tool is used for clearing fields and gathering weeds is it a rake b spade b c grapple or d hand cultivator what's your answer yes the answer is great john has started exploring bonsai trees what is the basic tool for him to use in cutting the stems of the plant is it a axe b sickle c knife or d pruning shears type your answer in the comment section all right the answer is pruning shears next which tool is best used to dig move and mix the soil is it a spade b shovel c cover or d pick matter what's your answer very good the answer is b shovel next number four louise needs to loosen the soil around her ornamental plants what is the best tool that she can use is it a light bulb b hand work c hand trowel or d hand cultivator what's your answer for number four yes the answer for this is c hand trowel next number five what are the tools used to decompress the top layers of soil to promote water penetration to the roots and lets the soil breathe a cutting tools b digging tools c loosening tools or d combination tools the answer for this number is letter c loosening tools 
Congratulations, grade 7 students! I would say that you have acquired another competency in horticulture. You can now identify farm tools. And you can also explore using those farm tools. Remember to use these tools properly. Make sure to regularly clean and store them in their proper places after use. Also, be sure to dry these tools after use. This will prevent them from rusting. Oh, I think it's time to keep our tools in our cabinets. Let's have another activity. I have here four cabinets. Cabinet one to four. Now, what will you do is to place each tool in its proper place. Cabinet 1 is for cutting tools. Cabinet 2 is for digging tools. And cabinet 3 is for loosening tools. Cabinet 4 will be for combination tools. Are you now ready? Alright, type your answer in the comment box. Number 1, pruning shears. I will give you... Five seconds, go! Pruning shears is a cutting tool in cabinet one. Next, hand fork, a combination tool in cabinet four. Next, crowbar, a digging tool in cabinet 2. Hand cultivator, it is a combination tool in cabinet 4. Hand shovel, it is a loosening tool. Correct, in Cabinet 3. Next, we have axe. A cutting tool in Cabinet 1. Knife. Another cutting tool in Cabinet 1. Spade. A digging tool. In cabinet two, sprinkler. It is a combination tool. In cabinet four, water pail. It is a combination tool. In cabinet four. Do you have any questions about our topic? No more questions? Wow, that's great! I hope that you will try to exercise your skills in using these farm tools in urban gardening. Yes, we encourage everyone to do it. We can enjoy growing our favorite plants and veggies in a limited space or a small area. Remember, backyard gardens, green walls, vertical farms, greenhouses, rooftop gardens, and street landscaping are common forms of urban gardening. Since you have understood our lesson for today, you are now ready to answer all the activities in your DLE 7 quarter 3 week 3 module. And as your performance task output number 1 and 2, use available farm tools at home in planting vegetable or ornamental plants. 
take a picture and send it to your PLE teacher. We would like to acknowledge the sources of our graphics. I am pretty sure that you have enjoyed our session for today. Thank you so much for your active participation. Don't forget to visit your weekly home learning plan that will lead you to the activities that you need to accomplish. If you have any questions, just send a message to your PLE teacher and for sure, they will attend to you immediately. We also acknowledge the support and guidance of all nine teachers who are always with us for the academic and character development of the young Valenzuelanos. Grade 7 students, let me tell you these important words. We have a big responsibility in our environment. So join us to keep it clean and green. Again, I am an angel. Remember this. Smile and always be a responsible Valenzuela. See you again, grade 7 students, in our next Valenzuela Live. Bye.